Welcome to the Runtime Mirror, the place where programming begins. As we started with the Java collection, in a previous lecture, we discussed the iterators in the Java collections. If you haven't watched this video, I highly recommend you to watch this video so that you can follow a particular order. In this video, we are going to discuss a two array method. Now the question comes, what do you mean by two array methods? We know in language like C, CPP or in Java, we deal with an array which basically known for its primitive data type called as integer, character or float, right? We can create the array of these three data types. But the point is when you're dealing with the collections, we're basically having a wrapper objects like integers, strings. These are object, right? In Java, these are basically treated as an object. So the question comes, can we convert these objects to the primitive data type called as integer, character or float? Yes, this can be done with the help of a two array methods. So first method is object array. How does basically works? Let's check out in more detailed manner. So first of all, I have declared a list called as an li and basically it contains three elements, three, seven, and eight. Now what I need to do is I need to convert this collection list into my array, right array. But the point is if I'm using a first method called as an object array, there are certain disadvantages of it. As I told you that my list basically contains an object. So this integer is not a normal primitive data type like this int. No, this is something different and this is something different. This is treated as a primitive data type, whereas this is treated as an object. So basically what I'm doing is I'm converting this list into my array. But the point is since my list is having the object, my array will contain an object data type. This is the reason why I have declared a data type called an object because this is object and this list is getting converted into my object array. This is the data type and name of my array. This is object data type and here I'm printing this data type. So my output will be three, seven and eight and this will get converted into my object array called as three, seven and eight. But the point is there is certain disadvantage of using this object array. Before discussing the disadvantages, I hope so you understood how we are converting my list into my object array. So simply this is the name of my list that is li and I'm using the method called as a two array. Here I'm declared the object array. Why? Because this basically contains an object called as an integer. This is not a primitive data type. Therefore, I need an object over here. And simply I declare the name of my object array called as an arr and simply I use using the for each loop to print the values from my list. And when this object get converted, this will look like three, seven and eight. This is my list. This is my object array. This is my object array. I repeat, this is my object array after executing of this line, right? So I hope so you understood this. Li, name of the list, two arrays in build function, which is basically used to convert this my collection into my object. Since my list contains object data type, this is the reason why I have converted to my object array. Now let's check out what is the disadvantage of object array. Now, say for example, again, I have declared the list and which contains value called as three, seven and eight, right? This is my value in my list. Now I want to convert into my array. Since we discussed here that this contains basically an object, but, and I want to convert it into the integer. Is it possible? No. Is it possible? No, because this is basically an object. How can we convert into the primitive data type? And in order to convert this, what we need to do is we need to typecast it. But before we typecast, how can we convert an object to my primitive type, right? This is how basically we first saw because this is converting into the my object array. Now I'm trying to get into my integer array. If I try to execute this line, it will simply end up giving me an error because we cannot convert an object to my integer data type. I hope so. You got me. This is the reason why this object array is not much, much used because in order to convert into required data type, we need to typecast. But before we typecast, it simply shows an error when you try to execute this line of the code. In order to deal with these problems, we come across a new method to convert my list into my array. This is called as a T square to array method. So what does T simply says that we can convert this object array to any array we wanted. First here we saw that we only require the object array. We only require the object array. And when we try to convert it into integer array, it was giving us an error. In order to overcome these problems, we come across the second method called as a two array that is T. So as we come know that this is an integer that is integer array. I want to convert when I was trying to convert over here, it was giving me error, but here I can directly get convert. So name of an array. ARRI, this is an array type which I want, LI, again, the name of the list which I want to convert into my array. 
टू आर ए मेथड अगेन आई यूज एंड वॉट डज दिस न्यू थिंग इंडिकेट्स दिस सिंपली सेज टू द कंपाइलर वॉट टाइप ऑफ आर ए वॉन टू कन्वर्ट वॉट इज विच वन इज प्रेजेंट ओवर इयर इंटीजियर सो दिस इज रीजन वाई एम कन्वर्टिंग इन टू इंटीजियर जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ कंपाइलर अंडरस्टैंडिंग पर्पज आई एम पासिंग दीज फंक्शन टू दिस सो दैट द कंपाइलर विल कम टू नो दैट ओके आई वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट दिस कलेक्शन इन टू माई इंटीजियर आर ए इन टू माई इंटीजियर आर ए सपोज दिस वॉज स्ट्रिंग देन इट इज इट वुड बी स्ट्रिंग ओवर हियर राइट इफ दिस वॉज अ स्ट्रिंग अगेन दिस विल रिप्लेस बाय स्ट्रिंग बिकॉज वी आर कन्वर्ट इन टू स्ट्रिंग डेटा टाइप अगेन इट विल गेट रिप्लेस बाय स्ट्रिंग सो दिस मेथड विल हेल्प अस टू कन्वर्ट माई ऑब्जेक्ट एरे टू एनी ऑफ द एरे बट अर्लियर इन दिस मेथड वी वर हैविंग अ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज इट वॉज शोइंग अस अरर वी ओनली नीडेड हियर द ऑब्जेक्ट एरे टू स्टोर द लिस्ट इन टू माई ऑब्जेक्ट एरे बट हियर वी कैन कन्वर्ट इन टू एनी अदर डेटा टाइप सो सिंपली दिस इज नथिंग बट अ डेटा टाइप इन विच यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट यूर एरे दिस इज अ नेम ऑफ यूर एरे एल आई इज अ नेम ऑफ यूर कलेक्शन एंड टू एरे इट इज इन बिल फंक्शन विच आर वी आर यूजिंग टू कन्वर्ट माई लिस्ट इन टू माई एरे and what does this simply say that it is simply the indication to the compiler what kind of array i need to convert my list into so i hope so you understood this now one of the biggest you know important thing about this two array method and this object method is there are certain thing that we need to look after it i will tell you so say for example this is my list 3 4 7 and 8 and i have converted into two array converted into two array that is called as 3 4 7 8 when you convert into the new array method there is no any relation between this list between this list and this array there is no any relationship in between these two if i make any changes in my list say for example in place of 4 i have inserted my now 11 there will be no any effect on my array there will be no in effect in my array and say for example in my array in place of 4 i inserted 14 there will be no in effect on my list which means list has a separate memory space and my array has a separate memory space in which there is no any connection in between these two this is the reason why changes made in my list will not reflect my array and changes made in my array will not reflect in my list so i hope so you understood the two array method the ways to convert your list into my arrays just in case if you like the way i'm teaching the java collection do hit the subscribe button and do let me know in the comment section are you really enjoying the java collection till then have a happy coding